All right, guys. Well, I got some bad news. The chainsaw is not working properly, and we have a lot of uh, trees to get cut up before winter. So um, we've been using this electric chainsaw for a long time. I think the chainsaw itself is like, I don't know, probably 10, 15 years old. And it's worked really good up until now. Um, basically, let me show you what it's doing here. So basically what it's doing, or what it's not doing, is when you turn the blade, or when you hit the button to make the chainsaw work, the chain doesn't turn. What I think is going on is the sprocket inside here that hooks the motor to the uh, chain is broken. So we're going to tear it apart and see if we can figure out what it's doing. We better unplug it first. What we got to do here is we probably have to take this off. This chainsaw is pretty slick because when you're out in the woods or in your yard, technically you can't get out in your woods because it's electric. You just unscrew all this stuff and you can tighten and cha your chain and you don't need any tools. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so I think what we have to do is we have to take this cover off and then we will be able to get to get to the part that's broken. I believe the part that's broken is this little white plastic part in there because like that part hooks to the motor and it's not spinning. So my guess is is the teeth broke on it or um, it's stripped or something. But this is pretty, I really like this chainsaw, even though it is electric, but it works all the time. The biggest problem with chainsaws or anything that's two stroke is getting it to start more than once. So usually one time a year I can get the weed whacker to work. Um, I haven't really used the gas powered chainsaw in a long time. I mean, I probably only used a gas powered chainsaw twice, but it just seems like they never run very good. So um, I really like the electric ones. I would really like to get a battery powered um, chainsaw, but, um, they're a little pricey by the time you buy the battery and the chainsaw, so, I don't know, and if I can get this one to work, I believe it's only gonna be like a $10 fix, so why not fix it for 10 bucks? <laughs> So we made it inside of the chainsaw. I'm going to show you what part I think is broken. So I think it's this white part right here. This part. I don't know. I got to pop this little pin off or clip. All right, guys. So after a big struggle because we didn't have the right tools for this. But um, if you are going to do this, you may want to get the fancy pliers with the holes that take care of these little clampy things. I used needle nose pliers and it was pretty tough. But here is the moment of truth. This is the part that I believe is broken. So see, they got nice sturdy metal teeth on that sprocket. And that's the part that comes out of the motor. And then they have this plastic wheel. And look. If you look at all if you look at all the teeth they all look super good until you get to about here they start getting chewed off and then right here they're basically missing so it's chewed off right off to the inside there so we're gonna go up to the uh, local tractor store and see if they have one of these parts that'll fix this guy up for us um, Needless to say, they didn't have the part, so we had to look to Amazon. And three days later, the part came in, and we were able to finish the project. And I also took time to get the shop cleaned up so that we could have a little table to All work right, on. so the part is in, and we're going to put it in and see if it fits. Perfect. Just like that. Now we just got to put this little C-clamp thing back on. So I'm just going to take a couple minutes and scrape all this extra oil stuff out because my guess is is it probably shouldn't be there and it may help the, the parts to last longer and help the chain get oiled. And honestly, I don't know that much about the chainsaws. All I know is um, it looks really dirty. and um, But I started fiddling with some stuff and stuff started flying apart. So um, I'm just going to put it on. Try to get the little clippy thing on and put it back together and see if it works. So I'm going to be absolutely impressed. I got this part off of Amazon. It took me like four days to find it. And then um, it came literally in three days. So from the time I ordered it to the time I got it on the porch, um, it was three days. This part was $48, but 
I thought it was only going to be 10 because I looked it up, but it turns out that some of the parts are for other chainsaws, and this was the only one that one had this little bushing thing in here like this, and this little raised in the gear chain, all of those parts. There's other parts that look like that are flat, and those parts were only 8 to 10 bucks. but I'm glad I finally found this one. If anybody else has this, I'll leave the link from where I got it down below in the description and um like I said it's 48 bucks they do have two packs and they also have um chains and stuff if your chainsaw needs that but I'll leave it down in the description below and then you guys can click that and check it out and see if it's something that'll work for you all right so we got our clip on there just so I can show you what it looks like there's that washer don't forget to put that on then the clip I probably should have just bought a pair of those players or some needle nose ones at I think when I was taking it off, I goofed out by trying to slide it off the pole, like slide it off this way instead of, I should have just spread it apart a little bit and slid it up. I think that's the trick to getting this to work, so. Okay, we're getting there. Almost. Just gonna get it slid in place. Probably should have just bought a new ring. So maybe you, if you do it, you if you don't have the special players, you may want to pick up another one of these clampy deals. I didn't forget a washer. I think I did. I was supposed to put that on first. Crap. It's always something. Probably should have watched my own video before I tried putting it back together. Anyways, I'm going to put that washer on. Alright. So, washer goes on. This goes on. Look at that. Do it a few times and you get to be pretty good at it. Helps to know what you're doing or what to expect. So it's gonna cinch her down so she don't come off. Okay, now we just gotta put everything back together if we can remember how to do that. And then this part we gotta put back on. All right, so we got that screw put in and now we need to put the cover back on. One thing you wanna make sure you don't forget to do is make sure this guy's hooked up because chainsaw ain't gonna work if that's not hooked up. We're going to put the cover back on. Actually, that's not the cover we need. Clean this off real quick. So I got to clean the inside of this out a little bit. All right, so now we're going to put this back on there. Oh, I can take the lid off. For the I mean, just remember, like, I'm not very mechanical, you know. And if I can do it, I'm confident that you can do it. Remember, we want to make sure that's hooked up. Couple posts. Post in the back. There's a part right there. Oh, this is so irritating. Just go together. Alright, why is it not working? So gross. That is lined up. That is lined up. There's one. Inside of there that you can't see. That back is lined up. And this part is bumping. What else is hitting? So maybe that is screwed in the wrong place. Let's adjust that. You know what? I'm gonna guess that goes on after. Put the front on. Not before, so. This will probably work a lot better. Oh, it's a miracle. Oh, that guy come out. Oh, this is gonna be a miracle if this works when I get it done. Absolute miracle. If I ever even get it put back together. Not going together. <sighs> All right, well I got it together and as you can guess, that piece came out. Never fails. So 
my guess is the reason these things are so expensive is because it takes forever to make them. All right, so now we put our screw on, our cover. This little cover thing needs to go on. Don't know what it does, but it's like it holds something in place. Holds all the plastic together. So now we have to put these screws back in. It's going to be an absolute miracle if this works. Alright, so we got all of our screws in, looks like. Put our cap on our oil. And we're going to turn this thing in back into a chainsaw. So I don't know, one thing you might want to know is, um, I don't know if you can see, these are all flat. And then on the old one, they're kind of chewed up a little bit. I don't know if that's just normal wear and tear. Or if that's because I put a steel chain on it. Who knows? Not me. Alright, here goes the bar. Put the bar on there. Let's turn this upside down. Actually, it goes, yep, so it goes just like that. And then we have to put the chain on. On this chainsaw, there is a picture of which way you want to put the chain on. So you want to make sure that your stuff lines up with the picture, which does ours. I think so. I think, it, I think the picture is actually these ones. So that looks, that looks right. So we'll put that on and we should be good to go. All right, so now that that's on and that's kind of tight, we're gonna put our cover on. We have put our chainsaw back together. So who is so excited? The brake works. This thing works, trigger works. That part that pops off is the part that does this so that you can pull the trigger, that's a safety feature. All right, let's get some power. All right guys, it's the moment of truth. Will it work? Why is it not working? Oh, I know why. Because the brake's on. Turn, you gotta take the brake off. Oh yeah! Woo! Totally just fixed the chainsaw. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And if you need that part, link in the description. Thanks for watching. Or if you need more, more tutorials, there's probably some over in the sidebar there. Whichever way it is. I think it's this way.